Across the country, fed up teachers, many tired of long hours and low pay, are calling it quits. In one Virginia county, they are hoping a $3,000 bonus will keep teachers from leaving the job. Our teachers work hard, our staff works hard, and they need to be fairly compensated. But they are down more than 150 teachers. It's a similar story in school districts across the country. New numbers from eight states show how tough things are getting. Last school year, Maryland and Louisiana saw the highest number of resignations in a decade. In Washington state, it was the highest number in three decades. When everything shut down and COVID kind of took full swing, that was my first year in the classroom. Angela Tilson resigned from her teaching job in Massachusetts last December. COVID is still very much affecting the education system. The gaps are striking, and there's only so much that you can do as one person in the overload of work. It sounds like you reached a real breaking point. Yes, I did. Like many, she shared her story online. There are a mix of reasons. I am not going to miss unreasonable class sizes. I am not going to miss 23-minute lunch breaks. Children are struggling academically. Teacher shortages mean more work. And then there's the pay. Today was my last day as a teacher. I'd like to think it's just a pause, but I honestly don't know right now. In the fall, Sayreville, New Jersey, sent out flyers hoping to inspire people to help. Three retired teachers returned to the job, but the district still has 12 vacancies. We were starting to experience a little bit of the shortage last year, but uh, it seems that we hit the pinnacle this year. Did it get worse? Without a doubt. The key, educators say, is getting young college students to choose the profession. Our message to them is you couldn't ask for a more noble field. Um, you know, if you really want to make an impact on this world, this is where it's to be done. So true. You know, there are a lot of states taking steps to offer more money, including helping teachers pay down those student loans. Some of the COVID rescue plan money can also be used to help school districts. But that assistance is temporary, guys. And what educators say is they need something permanent. They need a permanent solution. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking of my favorite teacher. Like every single person knows who their favorite teacher is. Yeah. And when you see that, it's just heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. About and it. they're young people, young people that, that the profession needs. Yeah. And they're walking out the door. The yeah. woman that I interviewed had gotten her master's. She had only wow. been doing it for about a year, yeah. and she couldn't. She couldn't do it. It was too tough. Yeah, yeah. It's and the pay, the pay, yeah. the pay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steph. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.